1963 in Cambridge, England, Eddie Redmayne portrays a young Stephen Hawking riding a bike with Brian. Harry Lloyd. They show up at an event held on their campus. Stephen first encounters and interacts with the lovely Jane Wilde here. Felicity Jones. While he is majoring in theoretical physics, she is majoring in French and Spanish. He participates in the school's rowing team as well. Stephen disagrees with the idea of an omnipotent God who rules the universe, while Jane attends church regularly. Stephen is struggling to choose a topic for his doctoral work. He is led into a room by his professor Dennis Siamer, David Thewlis, who claims that numerous luminaries have come here before them to make their own scientific discoveries. Stephen makes the decision to pursue Jane at the same time. After inviting her to join his family for lunch, they go to a ball where they dance and kiss for the first time. To hear Roger Penrose, Christian McKay, speak about his theory on gravitational singularity in black holes, Siamma takes his students to London. Stephen is motivated by this to put forth a universal theory that traces the universe's origins back through time. His hands begin to shake as he begins writing mathematical equations and research. Stephen trips and falls on campus as he walks, hitting the ground hard and going unconscious. After some tests, Stephen's doctor informs him that he has motor neuron disease, which will gradually weaken the muscles in his body that control movement. He is informed that although his brain won't be affected, patients with this disease only have a two-year life expectancy. After receiving the diagnosis, Stephen spends a lot of time alone in his room, struggling to complete his research while feeling depressed and angry. After Jane visits Stephen, Brian tells her what happened. Stephen declines her invitation to play croquet. When she threatens to leave without him if he doesn't follow her, he changes his mind. He can hardly move properly, so the game is too frustrating for him. Although Jane claims she loves him and will stick by him for however long they have together, Stephen wishes to be left alone. Following their review of Stephen's thesis, Siamer, Penrose, and Kip Thorne, Enzo Silenty meet with Stephen. They concur that the mathematics are a little shoddy, but the theory as a whole is brilliant. Stephen is awarded a PhD. He marries Jane after that, and the two go on to have two kids, Robert and Lucy. Stephen is also still suffering from the illness, which is causing him to use a wheelchair and core speech problems. The second law of black hole dynamics, which states that some particles can escape black holes and that they are full of heat radiation and will eventually disappear in an explosion, is a new concept Stephen later presents to a lecture hall. The theory is enthusiastically accepted. Stephen receives an electric wheelchair from Jane and the kids. However, Jane's nerves begin to suffer as a result of the strain of caring for Stephen. Emily Watson, who plays her mother Beryl, advises her to go back to church and join the choir. Jane does so and encounters Jonathan Jones, the choir's director. Charlie Cox. Recently, his wife passed away, and he is still in mourning. As Stephen continues to develop his theories, Jane extends an invitation to Jonathan for dinner. Jonathan and Jane take the youngsters camping. Stephen begins choking at a performance and becomes ill. When Jane learns that he has fallen into a coma, she immediately leaves for home. The doctor informs her that they will perform a tracheotomy, rendering him speechless once more. Timothy is born as Jane's third child. She is accused of having the child with Jonathan by Stephen's sister. Jane acknowledges that she feels the same way about Jonathan after he even admits to having feelings for her. Stephen is given the care of Elaine Mason, a live-in nurse played by Maxine Peake. She assists him in communicating through her small gestures and facial expressions. Stephen eventually acquires a speech-generating apparatus.
Elaine is won over by his sense of humor and tells Jane that he is a good patient. Stephen starts writing A Brief History of Time, his debut book. Later, he tells Jane that Elaine has been invited to travel with him to America after the book's publication. Jane is angry. She is aware that she has done her best to take care of Stephen, but they both come to the realization that Jane no longer belongs with him. They are aware that their marriage is coming to an end. Jane ultimately leaves. She attends church once more and tries to get close to Jonathan. For those who have read A Brief History of Time, Stephen attends a presentation. For his research and theories, he has gained recognition on a global scale. He is introduced on stage by Siamma to raucous cheers. He receives numerous inquiries from people and cracks jokes, such as telling someone that the real Stephen Hawking is much more attractive than him, proving that he is not the real one. He notices a girl drop her pen at one point. He imagines himself being able to pick it up for her while walking. A man questions Stephen about his atheism and his outlook on life. Stephen responds that no matter how bad things may seem, there is always hope because neither the universe nor human endeavor know any bounds. The audience cheers him on. Stephen and Jane take their children to see the Queen in the final scene. Stephen is informed by Jane that he has the option to decline the knighthood. They observe their kids playing in the garden. Jane is told by Stephen to look at what we made. More than 10 million copies of A Brief History of Time have been sold worldwide, according to the closing text. Stephen Hawking, who is 72 years old, is still working on a theory of everything and has no plans to retire. Jonathan Jones and Jane Hawking have a happy marriage and she has a PhD in Spanish poetry. They still keep in touch and have three grandchildren together. We'd like to extend our appreciation for tuning into our The Theory of Everything 2014 video. We hope that it provided both useful and enjoyable information. If you're interested in learning more about the subject or purchasing the product, you can find the link in the description below. Remember that by using our affiliate link, you're not only supporting our channel, but you're also getting exclusive discounts and deals on the product. Don't miss out on this fantastic opportunity. Click the link now and get started. If you liked this video, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, and subscribing to our channel for more exciting content. We're always here to provide you with the best possible value and assistance. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.